Minister Anwar Mir to the stage for the welcome speech. Ladies and gentlemen, our respected media, mayors, councillors, community leaders, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum, good evening, and a warm welcome to the 11th British Bangladeshi Who's Who Gala Dinner and Awards. Ladies and gentlemen, you are British Bangladeshis. You make the Who's Who 2018 what it is, and you too can be the authors of your own history. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, engage, and enjoy the evening. Thank you very much. Welcome to this year's British Bangladeshi Who's Who launch and gala dinner. Now it's a fantastic feeling to be back here again for the third time and of course hosting this prestigious event with community empowerment at its pinnacle. It's been a great journey to be a part of. I'll take you on a journey with me as well over the last 11 years of British Bangladeshi Who's Who. Let's take a look. First established in 2008, the British Bangladeshi Who's Who is an annual publication celebrating the success and achievements of the best of the Bangladeshis here in Britain. The publication then consisted of over-profiles of personalities from various walks of life who have made it to the top within their sectors, including finance, politics, real estate, legal, media, catering, communications, as well as other areas. Who's who have actually recognized my contribution to the community. This event I am seeing is unbelievable. It's a very diverse, it's across all areas of society. We will encourage our younger generations by seeing those motivated people. Each year, the publication is launched by virtue of a gala dinner, which has been attended by VIPs, public figures, various segments of the media, as well as the individuals whose profile is included in the publication. This year has been no different, with 600 guests present. Proud to be the founder of the British Bangladeshi Who's Who, the longest-running all-sector community awards in Britain, Abdul Karim Goni has said, this year we celebrate the 11th anniversary of this important publication. The publication has really gone from strength to strength. When we started, we could only have dreamt of this publication continuing and growing at the rate it has. Ten years ago, I stood before many of you at the launch of the inaugural British Bangladeshi Who's Who publication. And in the last ten years, it's remarkable that we've taken huge strides. We have our community to do the community. We have to highlight our community success story. Um, British mainstream. Focus of our publication and awards is we try and recognize those people who are involved with the community. In October 2010, the third edition of British Bangladeshi Who's Who included profiles of 200 successful personalities. 400 guests attended the dinner. In October 2011, the annual gala dinner launching the publication took place at Waterlily in East London. Then, from October 2012, the award ceremony and gala dinner hit a new prestigious height and was held at the Panorama Hall of the world-famous Alexandra Palace in London for the following three years. As the publication grew, so did the requirement for a larger venue, 
And so, in November 2016, till now, the publication and gala event has been held at Meridian Grand. So many talented people from the Bangladeshi community in, in the UK. There really is fantastic talent out there and it's a wonderful opportunity to celebrate that and also inspire the next generation to succeed. To see that community who are completely integrated into British society but coming together to celebrate each other's awards and what they've done for this country, I mean it's fantastic. This is now, people use it as a reference book, even the wider community. There is a sector, and a restaurant, but this one, Afnepaiba, media the Gidduria, catering the Gidduria, building works the Gidduria, barrister the Gidduria, doctorates the Gidduria, you know, so every sector is cover for it. Who publication truly relies on the nomination from the community so it's you my friends my family my um, my you know brothers uncles so we as a community we nominate who we want to see on this publication so this has been um, uh, over the years uh, I must say that it's it highlights the achievements of the British Bangladeshis and that cannot be overstated. We invite someone on stage. Absolutely. That's had um, an incredible part to play for this year's British Bangladeshi Who's Who publication. Now this incredible woman um, that is behind this year's publication and uh, one of the people who has honestly worked day in, day out um, with so much dedication and commitment. So please put your hands together and welcome this year's executive editor for British Bangladeshi Who's Who publication, Sahana Ahmed. It gives me a great sense of contentment knowing that the British Bangladeshi Who's Who has reached its 11th year. The publication is about celebrating the best of the British Bangladeshi community. The publication is about you and your wonderful contributions to not only the community, but also to Britain. I must thank our editor, Mr. Abdul Karim, who most of us know as Goni Bai. I'd also like to thank our Who's Who team, especially Hema Patel, our event manager. I hope you enjoy the publication and tonight's program. Thank you. Our chief guest for the evening, Helen Grun MP, for Mason and the World and the Vice, uh, Vice Chair of the Conservative Party. Ladies and gentlemen, Helen Grant MP. Fantastic to be with you tonight at this very, very special gala dinner. And I've even been asked to present an award that I'm really looking forward to, to doing. The British Bangladeshi community have made an immense contribution to our economy and to our society. Just looking around here now, I see so many role models just sitting in this room, some standing as well. Men and women that have actually shattered glass ceilings and shown what can be achieved through working very hard and aiming very high. And that little bit of self-belief too, especially when you're doubted. Events like this, I think, are extremely important because they're a showcase of success and it's not just financial success it's success made by people who are working hard every day changing lives improving lives and helping to build stronger families stronger communities and a stronger society thank you for all that you do and i hope you have an absolutely fabulous evening Assalamu alaikum everyone. On behalf of the whole team at Meridian Grand, I would like to thank the team at BB Who's Who, especially Goni Bai, who works tirelessly every year to put on this wonderful gala event. Thank you for creating this marvellous platform and allowing Meridian Grand to support this prestigious event. 
I do hope you enjoy the event and the food today, and thank you all so much for coming and being a part of it. So without any further ado, let's get started with our first award. I'd like to call back on stage Helen Grant MP from Maidstone and The Wield, and Vice Chair of the Conservative Party, to give out the next award, and also the Managing Director of Meridian Garand, Nikita Mulchandani. Okay, the first award is for the outstanding achievement in the media sector. Ladies and gentlemen, the award winner is Nawab Uddin, Nawab Bhai. Nawab Uddin, Sector Media. Nobab joined Janamot in 1990 and became its editor in 1997, a position he still holds. Janamot, the oldest ethnic Bengali newspaper in Britain, was established on the 21st of February 1969 and has, with Nobab's diligence and dedication, become the leading popular newspaper within the Bangladeshi community in the UK and Europe. His commitment to the journalistic integrity has ensured that Janamot continues to earn unparalleled respect across different members of the community. Having studied for his Bachelor of Science in Quantity Surveying, Building and Construction, he continued his studies and obtained a Diploma in Construction Management. He is currently working for a leading housing association in London at senior management level and is a member of several professional bodies. Nobab is one of the founder members of the London Bangla Press Club. Established in 1991, it is an important association for Bangladeshi journalists in Britain. In addition to carrying out his role first as treasurer of the club, he was president from 2014 to 16. Nobab is the chief advisor of the historic Bangladesh Centre in Notting Hill, an active associate of London Borough Tower Hamlets Boishaki Mela Engagement Group, and is also an advisor of the British Bangladeshi Power and Inspiration 100. He has published five books and edited three, including The Racist Murder of Altab Ali, which was important in highlighting the senseless murder of a Bengali East End garment worker in 1978. Truly honored to receive an award uh, from a friend, Abdul Karim Goni. And I think when a friend recognizes your work, that is something, uh, that feeling is something that you cannot express. And I'm grateful to Goni Bai. And I would like to dedicate my award to the entire Jonomo team, Soyod Nahash Pasha, Amirul Choudhury. Uh, I can see that Junaid Choudhury, Mahbub Bai, Sotar Bai, everyone and all my young associates and journalists. Thank you, and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So, for our next award uh, of the evening, can I please call to the stage to present this award, Councillor Adam Hugg, Leader of the Opposition, Westminster City Council, and Mr. Shafiqul Islam, Country Manager for Biman Bangladesh Airlines. Thank you very much. And this award is for the outstanding achievement in the catering sector. Yes, I can hear the name. It is none other than Mohammed Mustafa Gamal Yaqub, one of my favorite people. Congratulations, sir. Mohammed Mustafa Kamal Yaqub, sector catering. Mr. Kamal Yaqub, as he is commonly known, hails from Silat and lives in Surrey. He came to the UK as a full-time student in 1972, soon after independence of Bangladesh. He passed A-levels in Pure Maths, Applied Maths and Physics from Paddington Technical College London. Later, Mr. Yaqub completed a full-time three-year degree course at University College London, UCL, and successfully obtained a degree in engineering in 1977. Worked for some time in Burma Oil Company's research centre in Bracknell. In 1980, he started his own restaurant business in Worcester Park, Surrey, and has since been in the catering trade, till to date, with different outlets. Mr. Yaqub is the current national president of Bangladesh Caterers Association UK Limited, popularly known as BCA. This organization has been running for 58 years since inception and is the oldest and largest of its kind. Mr. Yaqub first joined BCA in 1986 and has always remained with BCA as an active member both regionally and nationally. He served as Secretary of BCA Surrey Region 
and then during the last term, Mr. Yakub was the president of BCA Surrey Region. Prior to being elected as the national president of BCA in May 2017 for a term of two years, he had been a senior vice president continuously for a few terms in a row. I'm very humbled to receive this. I don't know how deserving I am, but one thing British, the who's is who does is it connects people, brings our people from different corners of the country and introduce them to the community. Thank you for doing that and thank you for awarding me. I'm very humbled. Thank you very much.
Congratulations once again. Um, it is time for the next award, and I'd like to call our next award presenter, the Right Honourable Teresa Villiers, the MP of Chipping Barnet, and our uh, sponsor, CEO of Sterling Ackroyd Legal, Mr. Ahmad Ahmed, to give out the next award, please. And the winner of this award is being recognised for the outstanding achievement in the medicine and media sector. Our winner is, ladies and gentlemen, our winner is Dr. Zaki Rezwana Anwar. Dr. Zaki Rezwana Anwar, Sector, Medicine, Media. After her MBBS degree from Dhaka, her diploma in tropical medicine and hygiene was with British Council Scholarship. Following her maternal and child health MSc at UCL with Danish Government Fellowship, she was a selected Commonwealth Scholar for her PhD. Dr. Anwar improved maternal mortality rates as founding member of Action for Safe Motherhood, working with the Brazilian government and campaigned against FGM with Gambian NGOs. She was guest speaker for international organizations including UNESCO, World Health Organization and Asian Nutrition Congress. One of the most prominent and inspirational British Bangladeshi women, Dr. Zaki Razwana Anwar, is a personality known for multifaceted attributes, such as medical and philanthropic contribution, coupled with her illustrious media career. Leading her team in national debates on Bangladesh television, she was crowned Best Orator for five consecutive years. Her journey began with Dhaka Radio, henceforth would emerge the epitome to watch on Bangladesh television, BBC World Service, Bangla TV and Channel S. British Bangladeshi who's who for giving such a precious award. Thank you very much and uh, thank you for this incredible honor. Malcolm uh, Gladder said that who you are cannot be separated from where you came from. So I wouldn't have been standing here had I not had a wonderful upbringing in Bangladesh. So I have a lot of grateful to Bangladesh and also, also Britain Britain has given me the opportunity to view the world in a broader lens. So I am grateful to Britain as well. And um, thank you, everybody. It's a wonderful opportunity to celebrate some of the many achievements of people in this city who have Bangladeshi heritage. It's clear that uh, the British Bangladeshi community is succeeding in all spheres of life in London. We are so lucky that we have such a thriving community of people who have Bangladeshi heritage because of the huge contribution that you all make to our economy, to our society, to our civic life, to elected office, to our culture. I want to thank you for all that contribution and say a big congratulations to everyone who's been nominated this evening. Three pieces of information. The founder of YouTube is a Bangladeshi guy. The guy who made Snapchat possible, uh, successful, is a Bangladeshi guy. And the guy who made Tall Towers possible includes Burj Khalifa, is from Bangladesh. So please be proud of Bangladesh, your heritage. It's time to present the final set of awards. If I could please call up on stage our award presenter, Councillor Zulha Sudin from South Borough and High Brooms, and our sponsor, uh, I always call him Bhai, so I have to call him Bhai, Mahi Ferdos Jolil, founder of Channel S. Mahi Bhai, please come on stage. And the winner of this award is being recognized for their outstanding achievement in both the catering and charity sector. Are you ready for the winner? Shab Uddin, please put your hands together and give him a round of applause. Mohammed Shab Uddin, sector, catering, charity. Mohamed Shab Udin is the CEO and Managing Director of the Bini Bazaar Cancer and General Hospital and one of its founding trustees. BBCGH is notably known as one of the first cancer-focused charitable projects in the Bangladeshi community. Since 2009, Mr Udin has dedicated the majority of his time 
spearheading this charity from a greenfield site to a multi-story, fully operational general hospital with a dedicated cancer clinic that is open 24 hours a day to the public. The charity has been able to successfully raise substantial funds with the help of the community and is continuously expanding its services and fulfilling its objectives. Prior to Mr. Udin's involvement with BBCGH, he has been actively involved with a number of socio-cultural and charitable organizations of Bini Bazaar, both in the UK and in Bangladesh, since a young age. Mr. Rudin's UK life began in the early 70s after joining his father, who had been here since 1942. Mr. Rudin and his father were involved in various retail businesses, establishing the Tower Tandoori restaurant in the Tower Bridge area. I actually deserve this, to be honest, because we're far away from achieving our goal. At 2009, we have think about to do something better for Bangladesh and for its community. And at 2015, we opened the door of our Bianca Cancer Hospital. And at 2017, we decided that we should make this to a general hospital so that it can be served for many different type of people. With your duas, with your support, we have achieved to serve more than 100,000 people into our door and, and for the community. Please, please give us advice, support, become trustee, become a life member, whatever you do, but help this cause. This is a great cause for us and for Bangladeshi people who are left behind us.
Thank you very much for that. Now, uh, I'd like to present our next award. Um, and to present this, if you could please help me welcome on stage Councillor Ayasmia, who is also the Speaker of Tower Hamlets Council and the Director of JMG Cargo, Surman Ahmed, and the Managing Director of Prime Estate Agents, Mr. Kazi Arif, on stage to give out the next award, please. This award for outstanding achievement in philanthropy sector. And the winner is Muhammad. Habibullah OBE JP. Mohammed Habibullah OBE JP, Sector Philanthropy. Mohammed Habibullah OBE JP, born in Noakali, Bangladesh, is an educationalist, published author, social science researcher, and philanthropist. His research work has attracted national recognition from Association of Metropolitan Authorities and Royal Institute of British Architects and has been featured by the BBC and The Guardian. An alumnus of Manchester Metropolitan University, Mohammed has been appointed as its first Bangladeshi governor. Manchester Metropolitan is one of the UK's largest universities with over 38,000 students. Mohammed has dedicated his career to working in the public and NGO sectors as a lead practitioner and consultant in education, housing, community planning and urban regeneration. He was awarded an OBE in 2012 by Her Majesty the Queen for his lifelong work and services to the community of Greater Manchester. Recently, Mohammed was involved in setting up a faith-based primary and secondary school in Manchester with £35 million of DfE funding. Currently, he is leading an initiative in Rochdale to set up a faith-based secondary school from central government funding. It's very satisfying when one is recognized by one's own community. The particularly the role of the who is who of the media to bringing all the potential Bangladeshis who are working in here to together and to give them the recognition is a wonderful idea and wonderful initiative. We can shape our education policy, we can shape our media policy, we can shape our defense policy. The only one way we can do that if we make the alliances regionally, locally and nationally together. We need to contribute to the main society Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, for our final award for this evening. So if I could please call on stage to present this award, Councillor Jinnab Ali, the Mayor of Swindon, and our sponsors, MD of Bluestone Finance Group, Mr. Abdul Malik, and also the Managing Director of Mahbub & Co, Mahbub Murshed, on stage, please, to give out the next award. This award is for outstanding achievement in the business sector. And the winner is Mohammed Siddiqur Rahman. Mohammed Siddiqur Rahman, Sector Business. Mohammed Siddiqur Rahman was born in 1971 in Luton, Bedfordshire. He completed his GCSEs in Denby High School in 1987. At the age of 16, Siddiqui started working part-time at an Indian restaurant which initiated his interest in the restaurant trade. At the age of 19, he opened his first thriving business, an Indian takeaway which he later converted to a restaurant in Oxhay, Hertfordshire called Curry Cottage. After the success of Curry Cottage in 1997, he went on to open another Indian restaurant, Raj Garden in Bushy, which became his most successful venture, receiving many awards for their service and support of the community. In 2002, he began his career as a property investor, buying houses to redevelop them and put them onto the retail market. He is the director of Luton Property Management Limited and the senior negotiator for Simply Move, overseeing the management of properties. This business is fast becoming one of the busiest property management companies in its area. He is also the owner of MS Rachman Properties Real Estate and S&Z, a property development company. In addition, he is a member of several business associations, such as one of the directors of the UKBCCI, EC member of BCA, National Landlord Association, and a member of the ARLA. I am very humble. 
humble and honored to receive this award today. This award has inspired me to work even harder and achieve more. I'd like to include my family, who's there with me here, in this achievement, especially my brother who has uh, hard, very, worked very hard and put a lot of efforts in the businesses for the last 30 years. Please keep me and my family in your dua. The British uh, Bangladesh who is, who is one of the fabulous programs, which I always come here. I'm very proud of being a British Bangladeshi and I hope everybody else is. And as I said to you, we are doing phenomenally well. I think this is the only place where you meet everybody from our community. So from uh, businessmen to journalists to academics, everybody's here, everyone's mingling. And this is a wonderful place to be. I think a date that I always keep free. Really honored to be here amongst all the brilliant people that you bring every year. I've, I've learned so much about who's who. People arrive here from the different part of the country, yeah. and this is the way you get an opportunity to meet each other. An amazing publication telling us about everyone who is who, and that's what we need to know. We need to know who the upcoming people are, um, what they're doing, and so we can keep an eye, so we get to meet people and get to know a little bit about their world. This gives them an inspiration, really, to say, right, I want to be like him, I want to I wanna follow him, I want to do the same, and that's why I actually support this event. But obviously there's a lot of uh, dignitaries from the Bangladesh the Dutch community who have achieved a lot and it's always nice to see that our people are excelling in this industry and well, well, whatever industry they're in. We have a lot of hidden talent, our next generation and older generation and mid generation. So from through this kind of the booklet, we know who is going where. They are looking the best people, the talented people of our community and bring up to the, our community their identity and encourage the new generation to follow that path. Whoever in the guide has been introduced to the mainstream all over the world. So exciting because we see so many success stories and we really enjoy supporting and being part of the British Bangladeshi community. Kormo jibo ne, one khewaad ba one shikriti pehesi. Kintu jokhon apun jone khaste hai kunu award ba shikriti pao jai, tar onuboti ba mullai ni alada. And ebang vishesh kure who's who, jara ayujon kure amar friend Abdul Karim Goni ta ke amar I am a true believer in working for BCA and this is because I have worked with BCA, not for anything else. I am a job prapo, I am a shop in Bangladesh, I am a shop in Bangladesh, I am a shop in Britain, I am a shop in Britain, I am a shop in Chorcha, I am a shop in Britain, I am a shop in Britain, I am a shop in Bangladesh, our community puro shabai amake jato tuku bhalo basha day and just shodha kore amar mono hoy na miyato tadjuko. It was very great and it's make me more to work harder and I think they done a very tremendous. I'm highly pleased. It's an honor to be recognized by its own community and who is who is a very established for the last so many years and it's for front of them to recognize. I'm extremely pleased and particularly the work we do, we only do because we believe in it. But if our community actually gives recognition, that's a very satisfying. Really been enjoying this evening at the launch of the British Bangladeshi Who's Who. It's really inspirational to hear of the great success stories from so many people with Bangladeshi heritage in, in Britain. It's a wonderful opportunity to, for the community to get together with, with friends to celebrate those achievements and those successes. Dekhte dekhte amader 11 boshor chole gelo. Chesta korechi joto tuku sombhob bhalo korar ebong baki sob jara audience jara ashchen tara janen ki kora hoyeche. Community er egula achievement amra mainstream e tule dewar chesta kortechi ebong shetai amader safullo je amra community er achievement gulo amra non bangladeshi der kache pouchhe dite perechi.